Question 51. A k-sorted array is a nearly sorted array in which no element is more than k locations away from its final position in the sorted array. Thus, a zero sorted array is completely sorted and every array of size n is n sorted. Every yeah, array. So, suppose that a is a k-sorted array of size n. If insertion sort is used to sort a, what's the order of growth of the number of comparisons performed by the sorting algorithm in the worst case? Well, how does insertion sort work? Insertion sort... First you take the first two numbers, you sort them, then you take the next group, and then you take the next group, and you 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 process this n times because you're going th you're going through this array n times to catch each uh, element of the array, and you're also going to multiply each one of these things is n, you know, you know gets growth rate of, of n. So basically, n squared is the worst case situation for uh, the insertion sort algorithm. But what if you only had to go k? It says here that um, uh, the, the, any given element is no more than k locations away from its original position, or sorry, its final position in the sorted array. So no matter what it is, let's, let's say k was 3, you know, this, this element here would be no more than 3 positions away from its final position in the array. So what that means is we don't have to search all n. We don't have to sort all n. We only have to sort, sort k. We only have to sort, sort this uh, within a distance of, really, it's 2k. So what we effectively have is, is 2k times n, which basically 2kn is the same thing as theta of kn. So that's why the answer to, the, to, to question 51 is b, theta of kn.